They come to pay their condolences to the family of Hazim Shafi Butt, a disabled teenager killed by Indian troops on Monday. His parents were allowed to go to the funeral where he was buried in an unmarked grave at a government burial place 40 kilometers away from the family home and not in his local cemetery. The family say he wasn't a fighter and complain they won't be able to visit his grave like they would if he was buried in a local cemetery. If they handed us the dead body, the family members, his father and his sisters, sometimes could visit his grave. In the future, such attacks will happen again, but we demand that this practice shouldn't be repeated with other people. But it is being repeated. Families of Kashmiris killed say the Indian authorities routinely bury the dead in government-designated graveyards. One fighter, known as Wakil Nabidar, was buried 120 kilometers away from his family home. They didn't let us see his face, not even after getting martyred. How much can a mother's heart tolerate? How much patience will it show? Now the mother wants to see his grave, but even that is not being allowed. She doesn't know where the grave is. What is this? Are we so guilty that they won't even let us see our son? In contrast, Indian Army soldiers who are killed in action are given full military honours. India's leaders keen to tell the world of the brave sacrifices they say their soldiers have made. The government's blaming the coronavirus pandemic for not handing over bodies to bereaved families. Until there is no threat of coronavirus, the bodies of the dead will not be given. Human rights groups are sceptical. We feel that the main issue for government is that they are very, very scared of the spectacle which these funerals create because thousands of people come out and own these dead militants and rally behind them. So they don't want to show to the uh, people of India and internationally that there's anything happening in Kashmir. So uh, this is a, they're taking, uh, they're taking an excuse of COVID uh, to, uh, to implement a policy which they otherwise would have not been able to do. Once the coronavirus pandemic is over, the Indian authorities will be faced with a choice. Continue to bury rebel fighters and others killed in government burial grounds or allow their families to arrange funerals as before. Many Kashmiris under Indian administration aren't hopeful there will be a reversal of policy. They've been under lockdown since last August when the Indian government ended the region's autonomy. Critics say the Indian government is imposing even more draconian measures. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera.